Good morning. Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Happy Friday. Um, as far as the markets are concerned, beans are up five. Soybean oil is up 63 uh, cents. Meals about unchanged. Corn down a penny while wheat's up a penny in Chicago, down a penny in Kansas City, and down two cents in, in Minneapolis. Stock market looks to be opening a little easier after yesterday's gains. The dollar continues to be lower and crudes a, a little bit higher. Um, as far as the grains are concerned, it's all about South American weather. Uh, our weather uh, guy put out a special last night and resent it this morning about how in Brazil the monsoon rains uh, are disappointing and um, that long term uh, we could have some issues with northern and central Brazil being drier than normal. We also noted that continuing to see too much rain in southern Brazil well, the Argentina situation certainly has improved a lot, and their soil and moisture conditions are favorable for planting and crops this year. When we look around the globe, I think the first thing that we look at here in the U.S. is that um, the mats are having a lot of problems uh, with a two-week forecast. Um, they try to show uh, normal rainfall for much of the Midwest with, uh, on the second week, above normal temperatures, across most of the western Midwest and southern Midwest. Uh, our weather guy feels that the rainfall is too much and the temperatures will actually be warmer. Um, again, that should help completion of harvest, but it keeps the southern plains dry for winter wheat emergence. The, um, in Europe, we've got too much rain in uh, eastern, I mean western France, and the Black Sea area is dry. Western Australia is still dry, uh, but no problems right now uh, as far as India and uh, China is concerned. So next week we have a USDA uh, crop report. The one thing that people are uh, worried about is that if the U.S. government shuts down November 17th, this could be the last USDA report. Again, historically, shutdowns don't last very long. But, uh, you know, we could actually not see, like, export inspections or crop ratings or export sales reports until um, the Congress increase spending, but at the same time, increase debt. Um, there is a lot of controversy right now going on on passing bills to give aid to both Israel and to Ukraine. As far as the... Um, Soybeans here, U.S. exports are competitive, decent forward uh, to China. Uh, we also note that uh, corn export sales were disappointing yesterday, and we'll see if China needs uh, U.S. feed grain down the road. Wheat, Russia's still offering wheat cheaper. Uh, we did see where um, FAO lowered uh, world uh, wheat stocks by 5 million metric tons. We'll see if the USDA follows that up on next week. But again, uh, the funds really have no reason right now to cover their short in the wheat market. So um, choppy trade, beans is supported by a dry forecast for Brazil and maybe some increased demand by China, corn and wheat stuck in their current price ranges.